so hello guys today we are going to perform this full bridge rectifier so you can as you can see this is the function generator and this is the oscilloscope so from function generator i am giving this acb form that is sine wave of 1 kilohertz and 12 12 volt peak to peak voltage okay and uh, this is the practical uh, full bridge rectifier with the load resistance of 1 kilo ohm and we are not using this capacitor just we have to see this uh, rectified waveform on the oscilloscope okay we are using this uh, dso probes as you can see crocodile clips okay so here is the circuit diagram that i have drawn on the paper so this is the circuit diagram okay we are giving uh, uh, the input from the function generator that sine wave this and we want this uh, rectified sine wave on the oscilloscope side okay we want to see and we are using this 1 and 4007 diode 4 diodes okay so what is the problem here that uh, i am switching it on okay so we are getting this wave rectifier okay only one uh, cycle is being shorted okay as you can see so the problem is because of the dso probe that we are using this black ground part is being shorted you can see from this uh, circuit diagram that i have drawn this black part both are being shorted so d2 diode is being shorted so for positive cycle positive half cycle we are uh, we are getting this positive okay as you can see what it and for negative half cycle when this is positive and this is negative we will we are not getting anything okay it is like this because both the diodes are uh, reverse biased okay as you can see we will go like this and it is not getting any path so it will be like this that's why got it now we will be using maths function to get that rectified waveform as you can see this output in this output okay so so i am putting this uh, another probe as you can see as you can see this uh, when i am uh, taking this uh, ground part out then too we are getting this waveform rectified waveform, waveform okay so you can understand that it is getting ground from this one, uh, this uh, black uh, probe only that's why that's the reason of getting this uh, uh, half uh, wave rectified waveform okay now we are using this second probe okay as you can see on the second number side okay so i am putting this positive only not negative not no ground here okay as you can see i am auto scaling it hmm. so you can see this waveform half cycle is coming but this one is being shorted for uh, second probe this the cycle that is being shorted is coming on second probe and that first one is being shorted here so let me adjust it according ad accordingly okay okay so now as you can see i am using this mass function got it and for mass function we will subtract source 1 from source 2 okay so as you can see this i am adjusting its uh, reference that you can see it properly for this math function we will adjust the scale from here as you can see sorry this scale okay and offset from this part you can see this rectified sine wave okay so this was the point because of the uh, shorting of the both the grounds we were not able to get and if I'm adjusting it like this little bit more clearly you can understand it and if we add these both waveform as you can see this it will be coming sine wave okay ha huh, you can also see this frequency first one is one kilohertz as I have given here one kilohertz second also one kilohertz okay and but the frequency of this maths function that I've used if I am putting it in negative yeah offset we have to adjust it 
scale also I have to adjust it 5 yeah offset yeah okay ah. so this frequency of this is 2 kilohertz approximately you can see it clearly okay 1 1 and 2 kilohertz frequency will be doubled now and amplitude is what it is uh, what it is 5.2 as uh, I have told you it will be 0.6 to 0.8 that uh, uh, forward voltage drop of these diodes okay so as you can uh, as you can see and uh, this is uh, 12 to 12 peak voltage peak to peak volt and this positive half cycle is only 6 volt so it will also come uh, approximately 6 volt we are getting 5.2 0.8 is the voltage drop okay so this was the method to do it but uh, I have one more method so I will be letting you know so second method is if we do not have this uh, function generator how we will do it we are shutting it out uh, shutting it down okay and we are using the mass function from this oscilloscope only okay as we are not using this ground same ground so we can use uh, from here also that uh, generator input output part we can use wait a second Okay, we will use this math function. Oh no, uh, wave generator. Okay, so from wave generator, I have given this uh, frequency as one kilohertz peak to peak amplitude as twelve volt. Okay, see, there is no difference. We are getting the same waveform as we were getting from this function generator. Got it? So, uh, I think you can do it now, and uh, there will be no problem now. Yeah, uh, one more thing. If we are uh, shutting it out, uh, shutting it down, this uh, probe part, part, okay, then too we can see this waveform, okay. Because uh, sync, uh, sensing part is being done, okay. We are not just uh, we are not seeing this uh, output part on this screen. That's why we can shut uh, this probes down, okay. So I think uh, the point is clear. I have to tell, okay. So guys, now if we are using this uh, capacitor in this full bridge rectifier, so this is the formula that you can use for uh, finding the capacitor value. Final capacitor value equals 1.5 times load current, that uh, current which will be going into the load into time period of the initial sine wave frequency or AC frequency that we are using. Okay, this that we were using 1 kilohertz. Okay and uh, this 1.5 is for safety factor okay this is the ripple allow allowable ripple that we can uh, that uh, can be tolerated in the circuit okay so for this full bridge rectifier is uh, we will find this capacitor value 1.5 into vp that is the peak voltage this vp okay upon the resistance that is IL load formula IL equals VP upon R into 5% of VP okay this delta V this is delta V okay delta V 5% we want 5% allowable ripple that is this should be 5% or uh, because we are using capacitor it will be like this only here okay 5% allowable ripple and uh, and the frequency of this will be 2f if the frequency of this sine wave is f okay so time period this was and if i am uh, converting it into frequency then it will be 2f so by this we are getting 7.5 upon rf and we are if we are putting the values the rest is 1 kilo ohm sorry 1 kilo ohm okay and frequency is 1 kilohertz so we are getting this 7.5 microfarad or uh, we can't get this uh, value of uh, uh, capacitor of this value so we will take a little bit greater value of the capacitor that is 10 microfarad so now we are doing it in practical way as you can see the frequency is 2 kilohertz okay and the amplitude is approximately 250 millivolt and peak to peak that only 250 millivolt as you can see this ripple i am taking it uh, this uh, division is too much small that's why you can see this ripple like this 
it is approximately 500 millivolt this small box is 500 millivolt that's why you can see this now if I am uh, reducing the scale to 10 or 5 volt okay you can see it is pure DC got it so this was the way that we can do okay so you can see this 300 millivolt was the delta V that we got frequency was 2 kilohertz of this rectified waveform okay so as it is 2 kilohertz then it will charge and discharge again charge and discharge again charge and discharge so that ripple will be also 2 kilohertz that's why we were able to see 2 kilohertz okay so I am also again adjusting the scale to again let you know properly okay um, see 2 kilohertz it is being uh, scale is being too much distorted yeah now you can see 2 kilohertz okay okay I am stopping it and you can see properly okay so thank you very much I think and I hope that you have understood what I want to convey thank you very much